Hey guys, I'm BuilderDude35, and this week's video is about the unregulated motor block in the EV3G software. The unregulated motor block is found under the advanced section in the EV3 programming, so I'll take it out so I can show you. Basically, the whole purpose of the unregulated motor block is to power the motor without the usual automatic motor control that the EV3 applies. Like, um, the automatic motor control is usually found on the large and the medium motor blocks. So this motor block basically bypasses that control, and um, the EV3 won't regulate power going into the motor. And this power regulation is normally used to compensate for any resistance or slippage that the motor encounters and it also compensates for battery level. So as your battery level decreases, the normal large or medium motor block would kind of cut the power going to the motor by a little bit to conserve the power. This unregulated motor block ensures that whatever percentage of power you're typing into this little um, entry box here is always going to be what's going to the motor without any kind of compensation or adjusting done by the EV3 and you're going to control the speed and direction of this motor using this right here so like just like a normal motor block positive power is forward negative power is reverse and lastly you're going to select which motor is going to be operated on by this little port here motors A through D it essentially works like a regular motor block except like I said it takes out the automatic control that is done by the EV3 now what are the practical applications of this block? Honestly, I can't necessarily think of very many off of the top of my head. If you think of some applications, please submit them in the comments section below. The first application that comes to my mind is the race cars that I always like to build. Putting an unregulated motor there will ensure that your motors are always getting 100% power. But of course the disadvantage is that the battery is going to wear out sooner because it doesn't compensate for lower battery. It kind of, it's just going to end up running your battery into the ground. The second, um, I guess you could say, application, my friend who went to WRO in Qatar in the past month says that the winning Japanese team was using the unregulated motor block, which made their robot move a little faster. Now, I'm not necessarily sure that this is going to give you too much of an advantage in WRO, uh, but this is just an example of where it was used. So, there's that, I guess. Thank you for watching my video this week. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this. If you have a suggestion for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.